Bonjour, it's another beautiful day here in the French Riviera. We're just on our way to the train station. Very excited because today we're gonna show my little sister niece for the first time. I was also able to score us a reservation at Le Plongere, which is um, the really iconic restaurant that's like more or less in the water, like on these rocks with like kind of a diving board. It's a really famous like seafood place, so it should be really delicious. You do need to book like months in advance. For example, I booked this back at like the beginning of June and we're now at the like, middle of August. And when I booked, it was very limited like seating. I do believe if you want, you can kind of rock up and there's like a bar area that you may or may not get lucky with. I think that's first come first serve. Uh, we're just gonna hop on the train now. It should take about 20 minutes to get to Nice. We're in Place Messina in Nice. Uh, this is one of the most famous squares. It was built in like the 1840s. It's very colorful. You can see these like little like, I think they're Buddhas like up on the lights. It's cool because at night they all light up different colors. It's really beautiful. Because it's so hot, we're just kind of doing a very abridged version of uh, a little like Nice tour for my sister. We're going to uh, quickly walk through here. Grab a bit of chocolate, I can get one of my favorite chocolate shops, show her uh, the boardwalk, and then hop in an Uber over to the restaurant where hopefully it will be a lot cooler. Glass, uh, which is the big promenade, really popular to bike along here. Beautiful, lots of little beach clubs, all these like public beaches. The one issue I have with beaches here, however, is like that they're rocks. They're not as comfortable. If you like the public beach, I'd recommend going to Antibes or one of the other places like uh, Villefranche that has a sand beach. So uh, it looks like they're ready to get out of the heat. We're gonna call an Uber and the next stop's the restaurant.
lunch at the Plancher. It was super amazing, lived up to all of the hype, uh, minus some very noisy, drunk uh, Australian people that were behind us for part of the meal. But other than that, it was lovely. The staff could not have been kinder. The food was delicious. The atmosphere was obviously amazing. What did we think? Did it live up to the hype? It was great. Great. Super good. Breezy, beautiful, amazing food. Great staff. Two thumbs up, Don. Very good. Excellent. Well, there you have it. Everybody enjoyed themselves. And now we're just taking the train back to Antibes because it is too hot to do anything else today.